What's up everyone, Kaskobi here, and I wanted to talk to you all today about the basics of actually where to start with Launchpad, because I feel like that's not really a topic that's been covered too much. It's kind of, you get presented with a tutorial and you're kind of stuck there, you don't really know how to set it up. So I wanted to present you guys with a couple of options today so that you can do some other kind of performances like I have been for the past few years. So I've had a few people message me basically saying, you know, I've just got a launch pad, what is the absolute first thing I should do? The obvious answer, of course, is subscribe to Cascobi Tutorials, which is, if you don't know, my second channel, where I go over every single launch pad project that I've done, or at least most of them anyway, and give you a step-by-step, -step, like, breakdown guide showing you exactly what buttons I'm pressing in the video, just so that you can follow along and make sure that you're doing it in the same way. But apart from that, the actual thing that I wanted to talk about today was this app called Melodic. You've probably heard about it in a few different videos that I've mentioned as well as one of my sponsors But they very kindly reached out to me recently and they've basically said that they wanted me to run through the kind of tutorial sessions that they have on their app. And if you don't know what Melodix is, it's kind of the Duolingo equivalent of Launchpad learning. Now I say that this is something Launchpad related, but realistically you could use any other kind of MIDI button based controller or anything like that. You can use keyboards, you can use drum sets, you can use other types of Launchpad. You could use enables and push or just, you know, go out, go all out and use one of these things. Cause you know, why not? If you got them lying around, it'll work. But what I'm trying to say is it's very easy to get any kind of basic controller and hook it up to Melodix. So jumping right into the app you'll see that this is the home screen kind of giving you like a visual representation of your progress with all of their lessons so far. You can see your streaks for how long you've been working on certain performances and certain skills and as you can see mine is just a bit pathetic but <laughs> Hey yo, there you go. So that's the main home page, and then going over to the learning page you've got a few lessons that you can go through once you've got the absolute basic skills down. There's a few kind of courses as well, which are kind of grouped together lessons that all kind of cover the same topic. And there's also the guided path feature, which is the one that I'm going to be mostly covering in this video, but I'll get to that once I've covered the rest of the app. And then finally you've got the settings page where you can configure your volumes and whatever kind of device you want to use with Melodix. And you can test your audio here to make sure everything works. And there you go, it looks like everything works, so that's good, let's get going. So heading back over to the learning page, as I said, the feature that I wanted to cover in this video is the guided path feature. And now what Melodics have done in the last kind of year or so is they've kind of just thrown a whole bunch of lessons at people saying, oh, this would be good. You know, you could progress your way through these, but there's not really been an actual path to go through saying like this one is harder than the one before it and so on and so forth. It's just kind of been like a grid of seemingly quite difficult tasks to do. And I've found this before with the app, like these lessons are great, but I always found it a little bit tricky to know where exactly to start. Even if you go all the way back down to the grade one things, you know, which one of these do you start with? You've got, obviously got such an expansive choice, it's kind of difficult to choose and get to know your skills on the right level. Which is basically the big advantage of the guided path feature that's been recently added. And the reason, obviously, that this is a step in the right direction is because obviously it's got a big old blue thing here saying start here. So any of you guys that have said, where do I start? There, there's your button. There you go. You've been looking for it all this time and it's sitting there right in front of you now. So hopefully this should make it all a little bit easier for you guys. So if we kind of have a look down the guided path path that's shown in front of us here, you can see that it kind of gives us like an introduction to Melodics, kind of showing you how the app works and getting your rhythm and timing familiar with everything. Then scrolling down, you've got a coordination lesson, basically showing the differences between rather than just using one finger to do the drum pads or anything, it kind of gets you used to doing two different things like drums and cymbals at the same time or anything like that. And obviously you can see once you've done those lessons, you can start kind of deciding where you want to go but rather than Melodic showing you like 400 lessons, which they have on all their courses right in front of you, making it a little bit confusing to know where exactly to go, it kind of gives you a bit less of a choice, but it guides you in the right direction, which I think is a much more important way of doing it. So once you get to the bottom of this, it literally says where to from here, and it just tells you exactly what you need to do go back over to the courses and lessons tabs and try some of the other stuff there. Because if you just looked at that without having the skills, it wouldn't have worked so well. So having this guided path feature is an absolutely amazing addition to the app and hopefully should help you guys out with anything that you want to try. And obviously you don't have to go back to the courses and lessons bit. I feel like once you've done this little tutorial bit, 
you guys will have a much better understanding of rhythmic ability and the coordination between either your left hand or right hand, or also different fingers on each hand being able to control different instruments. But it's always important to get the main skills in first. You gotta build the framework before you build the fancy stuff, because otherwise all the fancy stuff will just fall apart. Good building metaphor there, well done me. So if we go back to the start of the guided path page, we will start with the introduction to melodics page. Now I'm obviously not going to run through the whole thing with you because that's kind of up to you guys to learn the skills rather than just watch me do it. So we're starting with this basic timing lesson just to kick everything off. And it will give you a little preview basically saying what you're about to play. And you can see down here in the corner, it kind of shows you which finger to use for the different parts of the song. And it does the whole thing in steps. So you've got this first step here of learning how the kick works. So it does it in kind of different stages, kind of building it up rather than trying to do everything at once, which is a much nicer way of doing it. Right, so I'm going to try this and we'll see how it goes. Well, there you go. That was, uh, well, that, that was one note. That was pretty easy. But as you can see, basically the way the player works is it kind of shows you roughly where to hit the note. And then it kind of adjusts to kind of give you a score, basically showing how your performance was and how your timing was in relation to the rest of the song. And then once you've finished it, it'll grade you. So let's say that lesson didn't go quite to plan. You can obviously try again up in the top corner there. And yeah, we'll just move on to the next step and see how it goes. So you can see now it's moved on to the next step, telling me exactly which fingers to use on each button. So let's move on to the next step. So here we go, we're now playing with the rest of the track, basically performing the same thing that I just did, but now with a little bit more context for the rest of the song. So there you go. Those are three new stars and I have moved on to the next level. Hell yeah. And you can see, once you've finished the last lesson, it'll directly take you on right to the next lesson so you know exactly where you're going. It'll show you exactly what you need to do, bringing you forwards right to the next lesson. So you can see, this one sounds a little bit more complicated, so let's give it a try. And you can see, if you mess up, it does actually make a difference. So let's give that another try because that was probably the worst attempt of my life. So you can see that not every single one of those notes was perfect. And because of that, it kind of gives you a good score at the end, kind of giving you like a percentage of how well you did with that lesson. And you can see I did one of those notes a little bit too early there, but that's a good thing for this app because it kind of helps you develop and gives you a score for moving on. So once you have a good enough score, you can actually move on. So it's not like you just complete it, that's it, you go. You actually learn and then you practice all over again. So if we go into practice mode, you can see that it's a little bit different from just playing it normally. So you can see with practice mode, it will loop through and it won't kind of bring you to the end of the lesson until you decide to go back and actually try it properly. And also you can slow down the BPM as well. So if you want to try it a little bit slower and a little bit simpler, then you can do that. Which I can't seem to do properly either, but there you go. That's better. So there you go. Now that we've done that, we can move on to the next lesson. And with that as well, you can see having done a lesson previously, it will actually give me a graph of my scores. So you can actually see that I'm improving over time, which is definitely a good thing. There you go. And it says pass first try, so we can just move on to the next step without needing to see the improvements over any last tries. So this will be the final step of playing this little uh, practice session here, so let's do that now. And as you can see, 
didn't do it completely perfectly. And there you go, I've hit my daily goal for today. So there you go, that's, uh, that's a good start. I've done some launch pad for five minutes, great. But the point of starting slow like this is so that you can progress over time and it doesn't seem like such a daunting task. Just doing five minutes a day can be enough to bring you up to speed and get your skills up there for doing more complicated launch pad performances. So there you go, as you can see, that was okay. <laughs> I didn't exactly get all the way up to three stars, but you know, it's fine. And then going on from that, it will show you how many stars you get and then you move on to the next lesson which I think I'm gonna leave up to you guys because it's really important that you guys learn from this and you get your skills up there so that you can do some really complicated other launch pad performances as well or any other controller you like or even the Dicer if you really decide to do that. But yeah, hopefully this is a nice little starter point for you guys to kind of work on getting your skills up there for future performances and preparing you guys for working with MIDI controllers and other kind of stuff like that. It's so easy to get started with all this as well. So if you guys head to the first link in the video description down below, it will take you to the place to download Melodics. So I really hope that was useful for some of you like newbies out there who have kind of just started with this. Hopefully this is a good place for you to start. And if you are bored during lockdown, definitely get started on this because it's something new for you to try. And it's very easy as you've seen by some of the performances I've done. And it will really help you push yourselves forward with rhythmic ability and different coordination techniques with playing Launchpad and other similar instruments. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I hope this is useful to you guys and I will see you all in the next video. Stay safe, everyone.